Hello, welcome to my channel. This is is Tutor, and what I do is solve technical problems and also provide very important information that you can make you solve for it to a better performance. In your technical doing examination, you are watching my video for the first time. Thank you, and I want to ask you to subscribe to this YouTube channel. Put on the notification bell so that whenever I upload a new video, you will be notified and help me to share my videos with your, with your friends who are technical drawing students. And it's very important that you practice this subject. This is a practical subject you need to practice it so that you can become a master at it now i have a few questions to answer on drawing instrument and material and safe working habits drawing instrument and materials and safe working habits now we start with question one that says that radius template is used for drawing uh the answer to this question is option c we use radius template to draw uh, fillet and run out in corners. Fillet and run out in corners. That is the answer to the to that question. Then we move to question two, which says that which of the following information is not included in a tight tube block? Which of the following information is not included in a tight tube block? The answer to this question is option D. Time limit is not included in a tight tube block. We write the name of the drawer, the title of drawing and the scale used, then time limit is not part of what we have to put in our title block. The answer is option D to that question. Then here we have that PQRS rectangle representing standard drawing paper size A0 used to answer question three to four. And question three says that the standard drawing paper size represented by rectangle MEJL is A. So here we have what? M M E J L M E J L uh P Q R as we are told a uh, P Q R S as we are told is a is an A zero paper then a uh, P T L S is A one so when we divide A zero into two it will give us uh each of the two is A one then when we divide A one into two we have A two meaning that this is A two by dividing A one into two, so we have what we have a two. Then when we divide a two into two, it gives us a three. So the answer to this question, as we are told that, uh, what is the rectangle MEJL represent? It is what this a three size, a three size of drawing paper. Then we move to question four, which says that, uh, which says that, uh, okay, uh, here we have what this is question five. I think I mistakenly omitted that. So it's question five. Okay, so in question four, we have that, what is the dimension of the standard paper represented by rectangle TQMN? Rectangle TQ, TQMN. So as I said, this is uh, A2. This is A2. So, um, so A, uh, option A that we have here is the size of A1. And option B is the size of A2. So uh, our answer to this question is option B. So A2, the length is 594 and the width is 420 for A2. This one is for A3, but this one is for A4. Okay, now let's move to question five, which is that what is the length FK? What is the length FK? So this is length FK, this is A1. This is A2, this is A3, so this is A4. So the length of FK, as I said uh, here, that um, so this option D that we have here is the size of A4, is dimensions for dimensions for A4 drawing paper. So the size of uh, FK or length FK is 297 millimeters. So we have answered question three to five as we are instructed to make use of this uh, particular diagram. Then move to question six, which says that which of the following instrument is used for transferring dimensions from one point to another? Which of the following instrument is used for transferring dimensions from one point to another? We make use of a, a pair of dividers, make use of a pair of dividers to, for transferring dimension or when it's come to drawing. Then question seven, which of the following information is not included in a title blog, we have answered this question before. So I need to remove this question. 
So we have answered it before. Okay, then we move to question seven as we have here. A free hand sketch is a drawing. So a free hand sketch is a drawing that uh, is having its size proportional to the object, it's having its size proportional to the object. Then question eight says that which of the following instruments is used with a T square to transfer a perpendicular line? Uh, sorry, to draw a perpendicular line. Which of the following instrument is used to draw a perpendicular line? So we make use of a set square to draw perpendicular line with the support of a T square. Okay, question nine says that identify the correct placement of a title block in the figure below. Identify the correct placement of the title block in the figure below. So the correct placement of the title block in this figure is point uh, four. So is four. So that is option D as we have here. So question uh, 10, a title block is designed to carry the following following except a title block is designed to carry the following except except the pencils used except for pencils used as i've said before we are going to put the date we put the date we put the name of the draft man and then we put the scale used and then the title of the drawing but the type of pencil used is not put in the title block so the answer is option c then question 11 so the cell square is used in conjunction with dash to draw vertical lines. So as I've said in the previous question that we answered in question, question eight, so whenever we want to uh, draw vertical lines, we make use of this square with the support, sorry, we make use of cell square, we make use of cell square with the support of this square. So you have to put your cell square uh, on uh, the edge of T square for you to get a perfect vertical uh, line. Then move to question 12, which says that the following are uh, safety habit observed in the drawing studio except never, so except never use the T square as a working as a working stick. So we don't use a T square as a working stick. So that is the answer to that question. So question 13 says that at what angle should the stock of a T-square be checked with its blade in order to retain its quality? So it should be uh, it should be checked at angle 90 degree or it should be set at angle 90 degree. So that is the answer to that question. And question 15 says that, uh, question 14 says that the following are used for producing drawing equipment and material except, except uh, rubber, except rubber, we use plastic, oh, sorry. Okay, sorry, except ceramics. Ceramic is the answer, except ceramics. So we use rubber to produce, um, to produce, rub we use rubber to produce uh, eraser. We use rubber to produce eraser. So except, uh, except ceramic, don't use ceramic to make any drawing instrument. So take note of that. The answer is ceramic, which is option a. Then question 15 says that the structural pattern of an object is reproduced using template. Using template, that's option B to that question. Then question 16 says that drawing instruments are best kept in cupboards. So drawing instruments are be best kept in cupboards. So question 17 says that the instrument used for drawing horizontal lines is, so we use T-square to draw horizontal lines. T-square to draw horizontal lines. That is option D to that question. Then question 18 says that in setting out drawing, drawing or in setting out on drawing board, which of the following is used to hold drawing paper in position? So we use drawing clips or we call it paper clips. So drawing clips, paper clips, anyone they call it so it is uh lips so and we use it to hold drawing paper in position on the drawing board then question 19 says that it is essential to clean off the particles of erasers from the drawing paper in order to keep the drawing neat and clear to keep the drawing neat and clear that is option c is the answer to that question then question 20 says that which of the following is not a drawing material so which of the following is not the drawing material? Tracing paper is a material. Pencil is a material. Eraser is a material. Drawing paper is a material. But a ruler 
is an instrument, is not a, is not a material. Then question 21 says that which of following instrument can be used to join the point, be the point between C C in the diagram below. So we make use of our French curve to join them together to produce a smooth curve through this part. Then question 22 says that in lettering, the following guidelines must be adhered to, except that they should be written between two board lines. So we don't write the, we don't do lettering between two board lines. We do lettering between two guidelines in lettering. Okay, question uh, 23 says that the following provisions should be available in a drawing studio except sunshade, except sun, sun, uh, sunshade. Then question 24, freehand sketching can be done with the aid of, so it can be done with the aid of eraser, paper, and pencil, eraser, paper, and pencil. So we don't make use of instrument in freehand sketching, but we only make use of eraser, paper, and pencil. So question 25 says that the drawing instrument used for bisecting angles is a pair of compasses. We use a pair of, a pair of compasses to uh, bisect angles. And then question 26, from the setting of the drawing instrument below, which of the following angles can be obtained without any further adjustment? So the, the angle that can be obtained without any further uh, adjustment is angle 30 degree. So when you draw in this direction, you make angle 30 degree. And when you draw in this direction, you make angle 60 degree. So we are given 30 degree, not 60. So that means uh, we have 60 among the, uh, 30 among the options, so we have to choose 30. So this angle drawn, the angle drawn through this side of the set square will give us angle 30 degree. Okay, then question 27. Which of the following uh, is a safe working habit? Which of the following is a safe working habit? So uh, the safe working habit is keeping the instrument away from moisture, keeping the instrument away from moisture is a safe working habit. So question 28, identify a drawing material from the following, identify a drawing material from the following. So the drawing material among these ones that we have here is a pencil. So drawing board is a drawing instrument, protractor is a drawing instrument, ruler is a drawing instrument, and T-square is a drawing instrument, but a pencil is a drawing material. Then question 29 says that, which of the following statement is false? about free as sketching. Which of the following statement is false about free as sketching? As we have here option C says that object must be drawn to specified scale. Object must be drawn to specified, to specified scale, so, uh, scale. So this is a uh, force, this is false. So every other option, we have to put them in consideration when we are making free as sketching. So question 30 says that the drawing instrument used for measuring plane angles is a protractor. So we make use of protractor for measuring angles. Then we move to question uh, 31 that says that, what is the value of angle y, angle y formed? What is value of angle y formed by 45 degree and uh, 60 degree cell squares uh, shown in figure three. So the angle that will be formed is angle 105. Angle 105, that is option A, is the answer to that question. So those are 31 questions that I have on drawing instrument materials and safe working habits. All you need to do is to practice and read more. And when you do that, you become a master at this subject. Thank you for listening. Thank you for watching and keep on practicing. God bless you.